Yo, wake up. Ooh. Taking the 2016 Subaru STI today, boys. All right, warming up the car. About to hit up my boy Jake's house. Pick this dude up and grab some food. Ah. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. I'm with Jake. We picked up Jake from his house and we just started driving straight to Oregon. Just mobbed here, two and a half hour drive from Washington. And now we're about to hit the number four burger spot yeah. in America. Number four, number four top rated burger spot in America. It's called PDX Sliders. But yeah, we're pulling up there right now. We're about to try some nice ass burgers. Got a lot more planned today. Let's go, baby. And these these guys ain't gonna be a knife. Oh, the burger looks clean though. Oh, it looks juicy. Look at the detail. Is this, is this number four material? It's number four material. Let's go. Awesome. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Dude gave us free beer. Uh, just ate PDX sliders, got some canned food, about to donate to the food bank, all that stuff. Woo, let's go! Jake, what just happened? I don't even know. We just got some free beer. Free beers out of nowhere, random Indian guy. Maybe he thought we was Indian. I don't know. But we got the hookups. This is a good day. That is crazy. I know, out of nowhere. Look at that. Ooh, look at those shoulders, baby. I still got the hazards on. Oh, take those hazards off. Let's on to the gas station. Whoa. Don't worry. Nothing doing, not doing anything crazy. We're about to get some pre-workout. Sip on that and then go to Arms Race Gym where Julian Smith works out. We'll see you guys at the gas station or something. Alright, Arms Race Gym. Me, Son and Jake. Just parked up. About to kill this workout real quick. About to kill this workout. All right, what's up, Marcos? It's Polo. Yeah, I know. Corniest thing you ever heard. I know. I'll change it up. Welcome to the commentary. First, we start out with warm-ups, and we did a lightweight pullover just to get a mind-muscle connection, just to get the muscles firing. After that, we did dumbbell rows, and for dumbbell rows, do not ego lift. I could have done, yeah, I can pull. My body can literally pull 100 pounds, but no, I'm not doing that. I'm keeping my back straight. I'm pulling with my elbows. I'm squeezing at the top, squeezing real good. And after that, we got Julian coming in, flexing his car, of course. What's next? Come on, forward to the next clip. All right, we got more rows. What do you know? And for this, we did cable rows. Focus on the mind muscle connection. Went a little higher in reps. That's what I usually do for the cable ones, but you can still go low. It just depends on how, what you're feeling that day. Next up, we had five sets of trying not to get out angled by Julian. And don't worry, I'm not the only one that's looking tiny. He's making everyone in the whole gym look small. Hey, wait till my arm pump comes in though. I'll be like the biggest guy in the gym. <laughs> no, I'm kidding though. But next we moved on to a one arm pull down. And for a lot of these pulling movements, make sure to treat your hands almost like they're hooks and pull through your elbows and really squeeze the muscle when you go down there and then just do a slow controlled movement on the way up. That's really gonna help you feel it. And of course, look at the vascularity on that. Can you see those veins? I know it's like a world map of veins on my back. Oh my gosh, but yeah, we did, we did more rows, of course. Jake did reverse curls for the girls. I just did my curls for my one girl. I really like this movement because it hits the brachialis really nice. And then we moved on to lat pull downs. I'm looking swole in this one. I told you guys I'd get that pump. I told you I'd look way bigger. And Jake, shout out to you for that angle, bro. If you made it this far, drop a like, comment any criticisms, share the video, and subscribe for more. Enjoy the vlog guys, enjoy this interview with Julian, and remember how big I was when I was doing those hammer curls. Guys, it's Polo. We just got done working at Arms Race Gym. Got to work out with Julian Smith for a little bit, hit some biceps with the quad guy. Just flaring him out. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. But we're about to go eat in Portland, try to find something cool. First we went to that number four burger place in America or whatever. What's that? What? Number four burger What's place it in America. Again? It's uh, what is it? Some sliders or something. 
PX sliders? PX sliders, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. It wasn't even that good. It wasn't, right? No. Go to Eve, goddamn. All right, guys, well, I appreciate these guys. They've been pretty damn cool. What's cool about this whole atmosphere is uh, everybody who comes in here, we're all, it's like we're a big family, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, that's what I felt like. Like we've been talking about earlier, and Slade, talk, Slade and I talk about this all the time, but when you put yourself out there and you're true about who you are on like social media and Instagram, no fucking assholes show up to your gym. It's all the people that are really stoked yeah. on who you are. Yeah. So it's never one of those things where if like I'm faking some bullshit or I'm acting like I'm a nice guy but I'm really a dickhead in person, that way you butt heads when you see him in person or meet him at like an expo or something. Yeah. But then you guys come here, you guys all got fucking vans on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we look like, like, like my brothers, you know what I mean? So <laughs> it's cool for you guys to come out here and it's uh, especially traveling from out of state and doing all this stuff, but yeah. I really enjoy this kind of stuff. So if you're ever out, if you guys ever want to come get a lift in, uh, just check this up out on Arms Race Gym and just see when the open gym dates are. Uh, but it's always a good time. Yeah, we had a great time. Drove all the way from Washington, spontaneous. Well, dude, you know what? It's uh, it's one of those weird times in the world where like you do kind of whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Social media is a really important part of that whole thing. Oh, sure. Whatever your idea is, you just gotta run with it. You gotta make sure that you do it on your own because if you're like hoping to God some somebody else gives you that shout out or somebody else you know helps pave the path, you're, gonna, you're not gonna see shit. Yeah. But if you go out there and work for yourself, you can probably have everything you fucking want. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you at the food place. At Salt and Straw, waited 30 minutes in line for some ice cream. The guy hooked it up and gave us like two scoops for one, just because we were fun, chill people. I'm not lying. I would have checked it. Yeah. Now me and the boys just eating ice cream. Boot pack. This is our last stop in <laughs> freaking what city are we in? Uh, Portland. 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 Last stop in Portland. Portland Canada. About a road trip 300 miles back to Washington. It's been a good day. Have you had?